parking area. We believe we can get to area R. We're not sure. Tested uh, rockets that were used for the X-1 and X-15 uh, experimental aircraft, rocket aircraft. Now on the trail, and uh, Gene noticed the giant uh, turkey vultures. There's one up there. It goes. I guess we'll uh, check out the warehouse next. This is probably where uh, scientists had lunch. We were at a place that you know not many people were even aware about. That they actually tested rockets here. All right. I wonder what this was all about. So. Device. It says general electric control. Uh, exactly, so let's check this out. I'm really excited. We found this parking area. We believe we can get to area R. We're not sure uh, if we hike up over this mountain, so stay tuned. What do you think, Gene? Well, uh, I'm looking forward to our little expedition here. It's uh, quite off the beaten path. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, most of our trips are actually. Let's do it, baby. Let's Hop go. out. Uh, should we bring some chocolates with us in case we need energy? Uh, yeah, there take a couple along. We'll make sure we get the flashlights. Here we go. Oh, oh yeah. The right flash behind you. At Open the Where back. Right there. Right yep. All right, so we're gonna head up over that mountain. In the background, we believe area R is up over this mountain right here. So stay tuned, let's see what we can come up with. Let's go, Gino. Well, it's a nice country hike. Check out the lake and the pond over here. Probably good fishing here in the summer. Uh, we're gonna hike over that hill there. Uh, there might be a fence restricting access, I don't know. Uh, people on the compound exploring the various uh, uh, test locations where they tested rockets that were used for the X-1 and X-15 uh, experimental aircraft, rocket aircraft. So this is a very historical site. It's during the Cold War. It was a very vital site. We're out here now on the trail and uh, Gene noticed the giant uh, turkey vultures. There's one up there, it goes, it's gonna be hard to see. I wish I had zoom capability on this camera, but he just took off. Certainly a big bird, right Gene? Yeah, you know, they eat long cars. I feel like we went off the uh, path a little bit. I think we should uh, head straight up over the mountain. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Well, so far, it looks like Gene, as always, you steered us in the right location. Uh, <laughs> so, here we go. We've got a water tower, some remnants of what could be area R. So. Alright, making progress. Go. Well, you can walk through. What do I think of the architecture? I'm just excited. I don't know what we're going to find, but just I think. think. It's very utilitarian. It's specifically designed for rocket engineering purposes. Uh huh. I mean, we <laughs> we are at a place that you know not many people are even aware about. That they actually tested rockets here. They broke the sound barrier, and probably, like you said before, the space shuttle and other crafts. Uh, exactly. So let's check this out. We are really excited. doesn't seem too strong, Gene. Be careful. Yeah, come on in. Uh, it's some kind of power pack or something. But look up. Look at that ring up there. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Wow. This was uh, it's what, built in the 40s. This was built in the 40s, right?
awesome. Because of the X1, the first the ro test rocket plane that was used, mm -hmm. they started designing it actually during World War II. Mm -hmm. They started flying it like in test flights, glider flights in 46. And Chuck Yeager actually broke the sound barrier in 48. And the X1 was uh, dropped from a uh, B-29 Super Fortress bomber. Mm -hmm. bellies on the bomb bay, it was dropped, and then the test pilot went fire the rocket engine. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had a few minutes of rocket power flight where he was able to uh, break the sound down. Mm -hmm. Which is something that people in business really weren't sure. They, there were people skeptical whether the sound barrier could actually be broken. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, so many old God electronics. <laughs> God knows what this is. Maybe it's like an old computer. <laughs> yeah, I bet you there's more power in the droid than there is in this giant thing, right? Yeah. It must be some kind of relay or something. Huh? So we're making our way outside here. I don't know if you smell, but when I disturbed that water there, it became like a rancid, horrible odor. Um, we, again, have never been here. We saw some pictures. We heard about it. We sought it out. We found it, and here we are on the exterior side. Um, you can see up above the uh, the tower, and uh, I'm, I guess we could make a lot of assumptions, but there seems to be some kind of concrete structure out here. I'm not sure if this was to mount engines on or motors on or, or what. You can see bolts on there. Um, I guess there's a lot more to explore, so stay tuned. Well, it looks like... Uh an empty room. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Looks like some kind of uh, another part of this testing area. Wow, they even have like skylights here. Oh, see? Yeah. What's in this room here? Some kind of entrance with an office. Let's check it out. Yeah. Check out <laughs> what's in this room, Gene. Not a whole heck of a lot. Find a lot of asbestosis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's really any need to go. I guess we can go back a little. Watch your step. Some kind of track system where they had like power. Careful, yeah. Show, show the audience that. What do you like, think that track system? Was they may have just used it to run power or wires or something. Watch your step. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. I think those are that's asbestos. Uh, I don't know about asbestos, but I think there's definitely lead paint here. I mean, this was built in the '40s and. At that time, there wasn't. Yeah, the, this facility, I think, was used from the 40s up to the early 70s. Uh huh. See, something was, some piece of machinery was mounted on these bolts. Yeah. I guess we'll uh, check out the warehouse next. This is probably where uh, scientists had lunch, <laughs> went on their lunch break. You never know. <laughs> I'm not sure. It's a pretty big door, so obviously. They could bring tractor trailers in here with a door that big. <clears throat> wow. Pretty high ceiling, huh? What do you think? Maybe 30 feet? Maybe this is associated with Area 51 or whatever, where they kept the alien spacecraft. <laughs> I don't know. Look at that hoist. Wow. Uh, I wonder what they were hoisting. What is that? Ah, uh, looks like some kids just hung that on there. It's just like a shelf or something. So we were just in that building across the way. Hopefully there's a lot more um, that we're going to explore in a few minutes, right? Yeah. Let's see if they got 
think there's a few more buildings on the road. In fact, let's check it out. Let's head there. Watch your step. I wonder why that door is so high there. Maybe that was just a window. <clears throat> Says, uh, look what it says. I agree. <laughs> Maybe he's buried here. Yeah, it looks like you There's a roadway here with several other buildings. Water towers here. Yeah, there's a water tower. Get some of the stuff out of here. So, uh, let's find out what the heck's around here. I think we're gonna need our flashlights. Yeah. Let's go. Well, it looks like an ugly white building. Well, it looks yellow to me. I have it. Looks like we have a wall, interior wall that's been smashed down. Maybe they communicated through this window at one point. I'm not sure for what. Uh, so, so far, most of the buildings are severely gutted. Not much left of anything. I didn't know better. I think we're in a Bronx somewhere. Wow, look at that. The whole ceiling caved in in here. I believe there's basements in other areas. This place is really apart. Yeah, I hear you. Not much in here. Keep, keep moving. I was hoping maybe I'd find some uh, rocket engines, but I'm sure they probably hauled them off a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the likelihood of finding a rocket engine, whoa, be careful, sticker pushing. Uh, the likelihood of finding a rocket engine today is going to be highly likely, but let's keep moving along. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Actually, I did visit a place in Germany once. Uh huh. It was an underground facility the Germans used in World War II, where they built the V1, V2 rockets. Mm -hmm. It's actually open to the public on tour. Okay. And it was just amazing to see all of the rockets, unfinished rockets that was left over after the war. And a lot of that technology the Germans developed, the Americans took that and built upon it to develop the, uh, you know, the. Uh, the NASA moon missions and the, the, the rockets they used for the experimental uh, the experimental uh, planes that they developed in the 40s and 50s. Mm -hmm. Awesome, great. So uh, this is like a meeting mm -hmm. of the two, the, the Germans and mm -hmm. now the Americans. Mm -hmm. And then we beat the Soviets mm -hmm. with the help of the Germans. Awesome. <laughs> well, we're coming out to another structure right now. We saw it from a distance before. Um, I just wish we had a little bit more information. I guess we can look it up online, but we're pretty high up now. If anyone wants an exercise bike, there's an exercise bike down there. We can go film that later. Oh, Einstein. Uh, <laughs> this has me really wondering what this was. <laughs> on a concrete roof, yeah, I hear you. But I don't see any cracks, and uh, the structure's been here a long time, so the likelihood of it caving in or falling apart. If you look way across, that's where we started our journey, at that gray building across the way, the water tower. You can actually hear an echo in this chamber that we're near. So there's definitely an exercise bike down there. There's a bicycle. Looks like some people brought some garbage here. <laughs> Uh -huh. Not the only crazy ones. Ah, uh, we're not crazy. We're urban explorers, baby. <laughs> Having a lot of fun. So let's keep it going. Stay tuned. <laughs>